Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is, uh, it's nine o'clock. It's on Sunday. It's time for a video. It's time for another video. This is a review show special. And today I am going to be talking about lucky numbers. I'm going to be talking about lucky numbers. This got released as a live launch last week. It is by Martin Pierce. And this is possibly one of the best and cleverest book tests that I have ever seen. If you want to know more, keep sticking around. So what is Lucky Numbers? Well, basically, guys, Lucky Numbers is a book test that looks like a book of, I think, over a 100 different stories about lottery winners. And you could actually read this and it would come across as a real book. Basically, what you have is you have a 100 different case studies. And each case study is exactly the same. It tells you the story about the person uh, who won the lottery, what they've done with the money, how they ended up winning. It shows you the numbers, the balls that that person has actually uh, drawn out in order to win. It tells you the amount of the check. It shows you the check they actually received and the amount uh, that's on the check. And it even shows you the date that the check was issued. It shows you everything. Now, you could look through this book with a fine tooth comb and see nothing. How do I know that? Well, Martin showed me this to me almost a year ago. So about a year ago, Martin came and watched Ryland's magic show at the House of Secrets. And afterwards, he came over to me and he said, hey, let me show you something. And he brought this little book out. It was just a prototype at the time. And he showed me this. And I sat there and I looked through the book and I couldn't see anything. It fooled me and it fooled me bad. Um, I, I literally couldn't see anything. So when I got this, <coughs> the first thing I did is I opened up the book. And I looked through the book to see if I could see the secret. And you know what? I could not see the secret. I had no idea how it works uh, or how it worked. Um, it fooled me badly. It fooled me very, very badly. Um, and the method is so simple. Now, before we can get any further about what you actually do with this book... Let's first of all have a look at a couple of performances. So this is a uh, performance of Lucky Numbers. Let's have a look at this. And then we have, when we've looked at it, uh, we'll, uh, we'll bring it back in and I'll give it a full Jack, review. how you doing, Jack? All right. Do you play the lottery? No. You know, ever since Darren Brown uh, <coughs> predicted the lottery results many, many years ago, people say to me all the time, can you, can, you, can you win the lottery? And I'm thinking, well, if I could, I wouldn't be here performing for you. I'd be on a desert island, surrounded by bikini clad Dudes. serving people that are just serving me beer 24 uh, seven but 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 I can't so I can't predict the lottery no but what I I found this book you know I travel an awful lot so I was going to London the other day and when I got into Houston I found this book and I thought it's actually really fascinating you have a look at it if you want to it's called lucky numbers and the idea is is it's a hundred or so stories of lottery winners Right. So it's kind of really interesting. There's loads of different stories. Um, each one's by a different person. This is Perpetual Pete. In this first paragraph over here, it tells you the name of the person. So this is, uh, I don't know, Peter... Uh, oh, the name's on the check there. Peter Peters. Peter Peters. Terrible name for a, uh, for a person. Ben Ahmed. Uh, stuff like that. And what, what it is, is it tells you their story about how they won the lottery. It also actually has a picture of the check that they actually won, uh, which I thought was fascinating. It, it gives you the check. It tells you the date that the check was issued. And it even tells you the balls that they actually won with. Um, so what they actually played in order to win. It's actually really interesting. And there's lots of different um, sections. So you've got like sports stories, hobbies, collectors, health and beauty. It's actually really interesting. And... Um, I only got this a couple of days ago, and I have memorised everything. I wanted to prove to you how good my memory is. I've memorised the entire book. I'll Why? prove it to you. Huh? Why? Because that's what I do. Take the book. Okay. And what I want you to do, I'm going to look away over here. And the first thing I want you to do is flick through the book and pick a story. And when you've got a story, tell me the story. T tell me you've got a story, and we'll begin. It can be any story, just go yeah, back and forth. Okay, so what's the name of the story? A Giant Leap for Wayne. A Giant Leap for Wayne. So so the guy that we're dealing with is, is Wayne. His name's on the check, I imagine. What, yeah. what is, what's his name? Wayne, Wayne Gates. Wayne Gates, okay. Um, 
I wonder if there's any relation to Bill. Awesome Probably not. Awesome <laughs> so uh, uh, let, let's let's try this. Um, okay, so look at. I don't want to look. So make sure that I, I'm looking this way, but make sure I can't see the book or anything. We're going to start with the lottery balls because obviously um, he he played some lottery balls, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if we can do this. Um, this could be tough. Uh, I'm going to try and tell you the lottery balls that he played. Okay. Right. Let me see if I can do this. Um, okay. Th there's there's a pink ball, isn't there? There is. Is it twenty three? It is. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, let's see if we can go on. It, 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 there's another pink ball, isn't there? There is another pink ball. Twenty seven. Yeah. Okay. Then there's. Uh, Okay, then there's a, is there, um, after, after the pink ball, yeah, there's a green ball as well, isn't there? There is a green ball? Yeah, I thought so. 31? No. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Sorry. It is 30 though, isn't it? It's 36. It is 36? It is 36. It is 36, yeah. I got confused there. Um, that's the only green ball as well, isn't there? In that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so that's three balls I've told you, right? Yep. Let's see if we can go on. There's also a uh, uh, a, a yellow ball. There is. Is it 40? It is. Yeah, and there's another yellow ball. Yeah. Is that 45? It is 45. And then there's one final ball, right? Yeah. That's not yellow, though, is it? It's a colour we've not had before. It's um, purple. It's purple. Is it 52? It is. Wow. Okay, amazing. That's good. Uh, let's see if we can go one step further. Um, I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm just literally <laughs> talking. <laughs> Shut up. You call one of them 31. I, I, okay, okay. <laughs> this this memorization thing is difficult. I'm combining it with mind reading. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, so what was the highest ball? It was 50, Two. yeah, 52. Let's see if we can try something else. Um, I'll tell you how much the check was for. That would be good, wouldn't it? That would be good. Um, it's quite high, as you would expect if you've won the lottery. Is it 10 million? It is 10 mil. But there's something else as well, isn't it? It's not exactly 10 million. There's a bit more. There is. There's a seven in there as well, right? There is. Is it 10,700,000? It is indeed. And let's go for the date that the cheque was issued. Um, okay, it's um, 2019. Is that right? No. Oh, okay, let's go for the date. For 7th. It is the 7th. Of January. It is Jan. 7th of January, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, oh my gosh. Um, 7th of January. Uh, 7th of January. Ah, no, it's close to, it's close to 2019. But it's not 2019, it's one year on. It was in the middle, it was just before the pandemic. It was 2020, is that right? It was. 7th of January, 2020. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Wayne was lucky then. <laughs> Wayne was lucky. 10,700,000. Right there, just before the pandemic. He had a good pandemic. Probably ended up living in a mansion. So, um, that's a performance. And as you can see from that performance, you can get absolutely everything from this book. You can get the amount of, uh, you can, so first of all, it's important to note, you give people the book, you let them flick through it, you get them to have a look at it. You then tell them that they, well, there's a couple of different options. There's a contents page at the beginning and each contents page is, is split into sections and it's all like uh, what type of stories are in the book. So you've got gifts, you've got travel, You've got uh, collectors, hobbies, sports, crazy, you know, all this different stuff. So you can say to them, go through the contents and, and, and what section do you want? And they say the section and you go, which one do you want? And they go, I want fast track Jack. 
And you go, okay, fast track Jack, turn to that page. So they turn to the page. And when they turn to the page, this is a story all about a lottery winner called Jack, who, and it's, it's, it's based on um, a sport. So you see sports enthusiast Jack Berry loved the fast life. The Essex computer programmer was highly competitive individual and competed in speedway races, motocross, cycling events, and in the country, blah, 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 blah. Um, they can read all of this. But the second, uh, so so actually, before I talk about that, um, so so they can go through the contents page, or if they want to, they can just flick through the book and they can stop on any page. And you can go, right, okay, uh, what's the story? And they go, Master Chef Alice. And you go, brilliant. Okay, let's go for it. As soon as they've done that, either gone through the contents page or gone through um, uh, by flicking through the book, you are able to tell them with no fishing at all and no peeking. It's not like you're looking at a crib on the back of the book because I thought that was how it worked. There's no cribs or anything on the back of the book. There's nothing that's going to tell you what you need. You could literally be blindfolded and you will be able to tell them immediately what the six numbers are on the balls and the colours of the balls. You'll be able to tell them how many are odds, how many are evens. You'll be able to tell them... Uh, what the colours of the balls are, and also not only the colours, what the numbers on the balls are, you'll then be able to tell them the date the cheque was issued. You're going to be able to tell them the amount that they were given uh, in the uh, in their winnings. You're going to you're going to be able to tell them basically everything about that particular page. Now, a couple of things that are really interesting. First of all, there are no repeats in this book at all. And by no repeats, I mean no repeats at all. They could look through this book with a fine tooth comb and they're not going to see two pages that are the same in terms of balls, in terms of check amounts, in terms of date of issue. It's all completely different, which is amazing. You could literally just leave this with them. In fact, I was speaking to, um, I was speaking to uh, a friend of uh, a friend about this, and I actually said, "You know what you could do with this? You could actually send this book. You could well, there's a couple of things you could do. First of all, you could give this book as a gift to somebody at Christmas, and literally just give it them as a gift. And then when they cut you, when you go around their house a couple of months later, you can go, hey, have you got a book I can borrow? Oh, let me borrow that one, that Lucky Numbers book. And you could literally do it. Or you could post this book to a corporate client or a wedding client and tell them to bring it on the day to the event that you're booked for and, 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 and literally not take it off them and immediately be able to tell them everything that you need to tell them. You could even leave the book with them and say, you know what, thank you so much for helping me. I'm going to give you this book and you can keep it as a souvenir. Now, obviously, every time you give that book away, you're going to have to pay for another book. But the point I'm trying to make here is that this book is examinable to the nth degree and then some. Um, this is probably the best book test I've ever seen. It's not really a book test. It's not a traditional book test. It's not like, look at a, look at a word. This is the word you're looking at. It's not a traditional book test, but it is a uh, it is a book test. <laughs> Just a very, very different one. Um, it's killer. It's absolutely killer. I love this so much. So things that you need to know. So um, it's not a negative, but you are going to have to memorize a couple of little things realistically all you need to memorize that there's a couple of different methods in there but the method the main method the method that i plan on using um you need to know what the colors of the balls are um because you can get the numbers on the balls with no memory work or no nothing but the national lottery balls in the uk are different colors so you need to know that zero to nine is white you need to know that uh, 11 to, uh, sorry, 10 to 19 is blue. You need to know that, uh, you know, you need to know that, uh, you know, the, the next step up is pink. Um, it took me like a minute to memorize that. It took Ryland a minute to memorize that. And then we had it down. So uh, that's really the only thing that you need to memorize. There is also a little bit of basic mental calculation to do as well. You need to just... Um, do some stuff in your head 
it's not difficult math or anything like that. It's not like you need to be doing algebra equations or anything. Um, but there is something that you need to do when you uh, start doing your thing. Oh, there is one more thing to memorize as well. You need to memorize a sequence of five numbers. Uh, that's it. So you need to memorize the colors in a sequence of five numbers. Um, but yeah, you, you, you need to do a kind of a very small mental calculation. It doesn't... It's easier than the quantum deck. It's easier than the invisible deck. It's not anything that you guys are going to need to worry about, but it's worth it's worth noting. Um, so there's that. Other than that, that's it. Uh, you don't. You, it's instantly repeatable if you wanted to do it again. And and I've found I've done this once so far, and I've found um, that people do want to see it again when I brought it out. They were like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Let me have a go. I'm going to look at somebody else. Okay, who are you looking at? Punctual Pete. Okay, right. Okay, let's do this. Um, so you can repeat this absolutely 100%. That's something worth noting. Also, it's small enough to fit into your jacket pocket or your back pocket or your trouser pocket. It's small enough to carry around with you, um, which is great for a gig, but it's also big enough to use on the stage. Uh, pack small plays big, you know. Uh, the other thing to worth noting is that this really does look good. I don't know who the, did the design work for this book, but whoever did the design work really kind of went above and beyond uh, because this looks like the sort of book that you would buy at like a, a Waterstones or something like this uh, or a service station on the motorway, right? Each page has got an interesting fact. It's all really well designed. It looks perfect you would not think for one second that this is a magic prop. And I think that's one of the big advantages of it. And I love the fact that, you know, how many times do you have people saying, can you predict the lottery? Well, yeah, you can now. You can, you absolutely can, because you've got this little book. And this little book will not help you predict the lottery, but if you ever get that question, can you predict the lottery? You go, well, I can. But how about if I show you something even more impressive? What about if I can tell you the balls that another person who won the lottery played. Would that be cool? Okay, let's try that then. There's a lot of interesting hook lines to get into this. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you can play this as hardcore mentalism. Absolutely. You can play this as a magic trick. Absolutely. It's big enough to go, it's big enough to play on stage. It's small enough to do in the most intimate surroundings. It fits in your pocket. There's no angle issues at all. There's virtually nothing to memorize. Um, there's no fishing of any kind. Um, and it's just absolutely killer. And it will fool absolutely anybody. If I was Martin, um, I would seriously consider going on Penn and Teller Foolers with this. And if he doesn't go on Penn and Teller Foolers, I think somebody will. I think somebody's going to apply for Penn and Teller Foolers with this little book. And I think they'll get on it. Because this is the sort of thing that you could do to Penn and Teller. And just, it's a little bit like the baby book by John Morton. You know, he went on there with his baby book and fooled the crap out of them. There is no way, I'm calling it right now, there's no way on God's green earth that you're going to be able to have Penn and Teller work out how this is done. It is brilliant. I love this. Um, Ryland loves this as well, by the way. He's in bed now because I'm filming this very late. But Ryland loves this. I love this. Ryland wanted you to know that he's going to give this 120%. Um, I'm giving it 120% as well. I think this is one of the best tricks that Alakazam have bought out, probably in the last year or two. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm counting my own stuff in that as well. You know, I've bought a load of stuff out through Alakazam. And I think that this is just perfect. Everyone uses that buzz term, EDC, everyday carry these days, don't they? This is a great little everyday carry. It fits in your pocket. You're good to go anytime, anywhere. I would absolutely 100% perform this. It's great. So 120% uh, from me, 120% from Invisible Ryland. Uh, this is a great trick. And uh, I can see so many different people using it in so many different ways. Um, the one last thing that I should mention is the tutorial is really good on this as well. Uh, so Martin sits down with um, Peter Nardi and goes through the tutorial with a fine tooth comb. Pete's, Pete loves this trick, but doesn't know how it works. And the tutorial is kind of framed in a way that 
Martin's teaching Pete how to do this trick and Pete's kind of learning as he goes. And that was a really cool way of actually doing the tutorial because you can see Pete understanding it as the tutorial is going on. Um, so really good tutorial, really good trick, 100%, 120%. Uh, let's wrap this up. So there you go, guys. That is another review show in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really want to know your thoughts. Uh, I love this. I'm absolutely going to carry this around with me. I'm getting another one for Rylan because Rylan wants to do this as well. Uh, it's just great. Really, really good. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again very, very soon. So I'm going to be back um, tomorrow with another video. But thank you once again for joining me. Don't forget, by the way, if you haven't already done so, go check out The Net Tricks, www.thenettricks.com. That's www.thenettricks.com. Go check it out and see what all the fuss is about. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. <laughs>